Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melissa, AKA Lady M. And on my channel, we talk all things beauty based on my own experiences. We dive into some fashion and we dive into some lifestyle content. So if those are topics that interest you, then please take the time to hit that subscribe button down below. Would love to have you become part of the Lady M fam. And while you're there, why not turn on your notification bells because you don't want to miss all these uploads <laughs> so now that we got that out the way today's video is going to be my sephora spring savings event haul video yes the sephora sale is now behind us and i am here to share with you all the things that i picked up now this may be a little bit long so i recommend grabbing you some snacks grabbing you something to drink and let's just go ahead and dive right into my Sephora Spring Savings Event Haul video. Let's go. All right, so we're not even gonna waste any time because I don't want this to be too long. It's already a lot of products here as I'm looking at all these bags. Like, here's my biggest bag <laughs> that I got um, during the sale. So I shopped multiple ways. I went into the store, I ordered what I needed to order online. And then I did a couple of buy online pickup in store. So I think I got everything that I possibly wanted. Um, I need to see like this on my wish list. How close did I get to getting everything on my wish list? I don't know. But anyway, I feel like I got a lot more body care, I think, during this haul. I got just a handful of makeup products. Um, so yeah, let's just dive in. I think, as I mentioned, I got a significant amount of um, body care. So that's where we're gonna start today because that's what I have the most of. I'm just cleaning up my area here so that I can really get into it and show you guys what all I was able to pick up. And I'm super excited um, about the products that I got. Um, so I don't even think I want to put my bag here. <laughs> so I have my bag here and I'm just going to be reach around and I'm going to be grabbing out of the bag. So first thing up, this is the one I was probably most excited about grabbing. And this is the way body cleanser, but this is in the St. Bart. I think I grabbed the whole entire collection. I got the body scrub, I got the body cream, and I also got um, the scrub. If I said that already, I don't even know. So yeah, this is the scalp and body scrub in the St. Bart. Now this packaging is just everything. It's white packaging and then everything is like in this iridescent, lettering on here so it's so good and saint bart's is literally like smells like spring it smells like summer i don't even know how i'm just putting my phone away i don't even know like how you would describe this hmm. it says neat it's a gomage so it says need a holiday let us whisk you away with our saint bart scent that has notes of dragon fruit, orange blossom, tuberose, and musk. So all of that floral is definitely summertime vibes. Um, and then this is the body cream. Now, this is not my first time buying the body, buying a body cream from, uh, from uh, Way. I also bought the Melrose body cream. I didn't really like it that much because I just felt like I mean, it wasn't a body butter, so I guess I was looking for it to be a little bit more thick and just to be a little bit more hydrating, but um, I'm gonna try it again. And this time I have my body oil um, from Ose, and so I am going to use that um, and mix it with that, excuse me, but I'm here for that. Um, this, I was able to get another one of this, which I was just walking around the Sephora, This. I went into a newer Sephora. This one opened maybe maybe like a year ago, but it's a pretty newer store. And so sometimes you can find stuff there that is sold out everywhere else. So as I was just walking around, I went to the Fenty Skin 
um, like a uh, end cap. And I found this Fenty Skin Buddy Butter. This is a Buddy Drop, but this is the Vanilla Dream Whipped Oil Body Cream. And this was the one that came out during the holidays. This is not even available online. So when I saw this, I really love this scent. So I had to grab another one because I was like, oh my God, it was the last one. So I was like, it adds to cart <laughs> and proceeds to check out. All right, so this was a surprise for me. I had this on my wish list for sure, but I wanted to know like how it smelled. So I went into the store, I tried it on, and I have to say they must have upped their game because this was super, super creamy. It was hydrating and I didn't feel the way that the other creams felt. So I feel like this was definitely a plus. But what sold me on this was the scent. It smelled so good. And then this one has the Cherosa 87 fragrance. And then this one has um, some glow to it. So this is a special edition. Um, it, it's radiant, so it has some glow to it. So I don't know. I put it on and I was like, oh my God. So it's infused with hydrating squalene and illuminating mica or mica. This illuminating fast absorbing body cream captures the nostalgic scent of summer skin and warm beach sand. Definitely giving summertime. I put it on in the store and I just immediately grabbed it up and I was like, yes, I am going to get this. So I am excited to actually try this. Um, Sole Janeiro means sun of January, which is the peak of summer in Rio love this love love so yeah i'm excited for this it smelled good and who doesn't want glow so this is perfect for summertime when you're going you got your little dresses on you're gonna be putting this on on your little decollete your legs when you're wearing your shorts so yeah why not so not only did i pick up the body cream but i also picked up the <laughs> the the mist the fragrance mist so this is the Rio Radiance. It has solar tuberose, cocoa. I think it's solar, solar tuberose and lete de coco. So it's a, oh, it smells so good. So yeah, this is going to be what I'm going to be wearing all summer. I'm going to be rocking out in these two products here. So mm, I'm here for it. Um, and then oh, these are makeup. So I'm going to try to stick to body care, but I don't think I have any more body care. I think I can go into skincare now because that was the next big category that I picked up. So I don't know why I needed all three of these, but I got all three of these. So the first thing that I picked up is the pharmacy uh, brighten up 3% TXA. This is the dark spot toner, um, with azeliac acid and PHA. Um, this is paraben free, synthetic fragrance, free mineral oil, free cruelty, free phthalate, free formaldehyde donor free. Um, as you know, pharmacy is one of the cleaner brands at Sephora. And I just loved this. I mean, I do have some dark spots that I really want to work on, but to me, I think the, the orange just speaks to the citrus citrusiness of it. And this is the, I think the variation that they're using for, I don't want to tear the box, but I wanted to open it. So it says a clinically tested brightening toner that targets dark spots and uneven skin tone with 3% TXA, which is tranexamic tran tran acid, azelaic acid, and 5% PHA. This alcohol-free formula gently resurfaces dull looking skin to boost visible radiance. And this just goes great with the summer. So definitely I have to make sure that I'm wearing my sunscreen all summer long because what's the point of trying to target dark spots if you're not wearing sunscreen? 
So I am going to be rocking my sunscreen, but I just love it. Look at that orange packaging. Yes, I am here for it. So that's my first product that is geared towards brightening. The next thing I picked up is something from Tatcha. This is the Silk Serum. Um, and this serum is going to visibly firm and smooth the look of fine lines while improving skin texture, revealing skin as smooth and radiant as silk with this kind yet effective serum. So I think one of the ingredients in this was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it has some retinol in it, some retinol alternative, but it's not written on the packaging here. But if you go on Sephora's website, you can find more um, definitive ingredients. And of course, you know, Tatcha and their packaging. So I am here for it. Let's see what this little insert says. Take a moment to care for yourself. Um, from Japan with the love. So it has cranberry extract, sea fennel, silk protein, and it says AM or PM. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, here for it. This is so neat. Listen, on the website, stuff be looking so big because look how small this is. But on the website, it just looks so big. So you're feeling like you're getting a whole bunch of product, but mm, you're really not. Um, so yeah, this is Tasha's Silk Serum. So that's the second skincare product that I got. And then, hold on. Next up, we have the 3D Fill and Repair. This is from Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, I am a fan of the peel pads and I probably have never tried anything else outside of the cleanser and the peel pads from Dennis Gross, but I was interested in this. It is a 3D alternative to invasive filler, high speed active serum that restores the skin barrier and reclaims visible youth volume. What is in it for you? Innovative microcell delivery infuses skin with niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, ecto, ectin, ec, edotin, mm. and a concentrate, concentrated complex of four peptides. I, our microionized carrier molecules enhance absorption to visibly decrease volume and restore the skin's barrier with 3D filling of fine lines and wrinkles. So that's my third skincare product. Oh, and I also got, um, I don't, oh, this other product I got was from Shani Darden. And as you know, I love Shani Darden. I have a lot of her products that I currently use, but she came out with a hydration peptide cream to moisturize, plump and replenish. I tried this on in the store and then I got a sample before the sale because I really wanted to try it before I picked it up. And oh my gosh, super hydrating, like plump to my skin. Like it's just really good, really, really good. I liked it. I have her other oil-free moisturizer and I didn't really like it too much because I didn't feel like I was getting enough hydration from that. And I was primarily using it in the daytime but I probably should have used a heavier moisturizer at night and the moisturizer probably would have been fine. But when I tried this, I was here for it and I love, love. Um, so she developed a nourishing oil-free formula that provides up to 72 hours of hydration without the congestion. It's a buttery blend of pump, plumping peptides, moisture, drenching, Drenching, hydrocella, and replenishing squalene support your natural skin barrier for instantly plump skin. It's rich enough for a dry skin, but won't clog pores or cause breakouts. It is non commodogenic So I love it. I tried it and I just had to pick it up during the sale. So that was my, oh, I have one more skincare and who does not need uh, sunscreen? So, so Shiseido kind of revamped their um, sunscreens. So I usually use the one in the blue tube, the blue tube, 
but they came out with this urban environment sun dual clear oil free with hyaluronic acid and it has spf 42 it's water resistant up to 40 minutes um so why would i not try right and it's going to i'm going to need it because i'm going to be using those um dark spots or that retinol product so i am here for it i'm gonna try it out um and see hmm, what i like this one is seamlessly protects against harmful uva uvb and pollution um it amplifies the helpful power of sunlight and supports skin's inner hydration ability dehydrated skin is instantly replenished oil free and mattifying powerful for powerful protection for smooth hydrated skin 365 days a year so um here for that i also have other sunscreens that i use so i am not a stranger to sunscreen oh i have another skincare product i almost forgot see i have made so many trips that it's hard for me to keep up with everything <laughs> okay so i was so intrigued by this brand i don't know if i'm saying the name right edaman edaman um but this is the cloud cushion airy brightening moisturizer again i went into sephora i just put a sample of it on my hands and i was just like i was here for it and i was like it's i'm gonna try it it's a black owned brand um it features snow mushroom tetra peptide 30 ceramides and squalene so tell me you're not getting a lot of hydration from all a ceramide and squalene already those are going to be really good ingredients so i love again look at this pack packaging it's so cute and it comes with a uh spatula on the inside of the box i don't want to take it out um because i'm not ready to use this yet but i was just here for it and i am going to try that i'm going to be using this um it's it's like i said it's supposed to also be brightening as well um it repairs and it prevents and it seems like it's just a really good product hmm. it says skin on cloud nine so let's see if i get to cloud nine <laughs> okay all right and so i think that's all of my skincare i can go into um this is not really skincare but this is a surf proof setting spray it's a clean hydration hydrating and long wear long wear spray this is the calorie setting spray and i have been obsessed with everything this brand um i love their skin tint i've just been like really loving their products i have their highlighter um so this is long wear performance sprayable skincare hydration station that misty magic so um it's not it can be used in multiple different ways hmm. um just set it and forget it it has niacinamide and transdermal magnesium um doo -doo 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 -doo. spray onto skin with it has agave and prickly pear extracts so that's the hydration and shake well to activate formula to bring out the soft focus effect so excited for that product as well so let's see what else do i have in here i had already picked up the glow recipe blur blurring drops i picked that up before the sale started um so that was another it's not really part of my haul but i already have that um i picked up the freck beauty face hack and i just did a video using this so that's going to be coming up so stay tuned for that this was 18 dollars. another black owned brand and it's a sculpting bronzer stick so i'm here for it loved it and definitely don't regret purchasing okay so now all i really have is makeup products that i'm going to share with you i'm going to just sit my bag right here oh so the other thing i picked up from freck beauty is this rich bitch and this is the protect prime serum again in my um recommendations video my wishlist video i mentioned 
that I tried it in Sephora. I put it on my hands and it was amazing. So I definitely could not wait to pick that up. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I already had the, um, I had a sample of the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara. I loved it when I tried it. I got a sample when I ordered from Sephora and I can't, I mean, when I ordered from Fenty Beauty. And the other thing that I wanted to say too, is make sure you guys are following the brands because sometimes the brand's deals are way better than the Sephora sale. So I didn't, I picked up at the time it hadn't launched yet when I got my order from Fenty. So I got a sample of this and I loved it. So I picked up the full size during the um, savings event. Um, okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, I finally got this setting powder from Huda Beauty. This is the cherry, uh, I think it's called Cherry Blossom. So I finally got this. this is, I'm getting on this pink powder uh, craze. I'm de really excited to try it out to see what it's like. So I have it sitting right here in my vanity. It's not even in the bag because I've just wanted to have it right here so that I can have it ready when I am going to film. So the next things that I picked up, kind of like more makeup related. Um, I picked up the, Jis the Jisoo um, honey infused lip oil. Now y'all know I love me some lip oils. So this was a no brainer for me. I think this has been out of stock for a while cause this has been out for a while. So I finally was able to pick that up. Um, makeup forever came out with some HD skin twist and light. And I feel like this is like, they're playing off of the Givenchy powders. You know, the Givenchy prism, um, powders that has the all the different colors so this is the micro microsoft <laughs> this is the makeup forever version so it has one two three different powders you're supposed to this one i think is a little bit innovative because as you twist it automatically mixes the shades together and then you put them on i got 3.0 tan because i felt like the 4.0 in the deep was just gonna be too dark for me so I picked up the 3.0 instead. Now it's bronzer season and Kosas came out with, I don't know if these are new bronzers, but this is their Sun Show Glowy Warmth Baked Bronzer. And this is, I think it's um, luminous bronzers. But anyway, I picked up the shade Paradise. This is medium deep bronze. I did play with it when I was in Sephora and I also feel like the darker shade could work as well. And I mean, I'm just ready to do my updated bronzer video. <laughs> so I'm gonna be working on that here shortly. It's always hard to open up Kosa's product. Oh my God. But anyway, this is the bronzer color and it was very nice when I swatched it on. So I'm super excited to be able to test that. I feel like I want to do a full face of Kosas because they literally have everything. Foundation, concealer, they have mascara, they have brows, they have blushes. I mean, they have everything. So I might do a full face of Kosas where I'm testing that out. So Hourglass came out with lipsticks. And so I picked up one. This is in the shade Lotus. 315 now look at the hourglass packaging that's just so chic i almost feel like it was supposed to be where you just push it and it would automatically come out um i was not expecting this kind of color um oh no nope not it that's the color it's more like a coral color this was not what it looked like on the website this was a buy online pickup in store but i uh, do not like that so um, i think i might return that color because i'm not liking that so yeah i'm definitely going to be returning that hourglass and trying to probably swatch them in the store to find the right shade okay so still in our lip category definitely going to be returning that hourglass I probably should have just went in stores to test them out to really find the right color but online it looked like it was so pretty but anyways I picked up some more shades from the 
Makeup by Mario um, Plumping Lip Gloss. I picked up the shade Miss Rose, and I think I picked up the shade Spice. Now, Spice is going to be the dark, like a dark brown color. So pretty. Um, I, I probably did up, I picked up stuff before the, <laughs> the Sephora sale has started that I probably didn't share with you guys. Um, but I already had a couple of these already. Love them, perfect for just lining your lip and going about your day. So I picked up two more shades. I'm happy it was also the shades that I already had wanted from the beginning. So got two more shades in that. Um, I picked up the Fashion Fair lip glosses. As I mentioned in my wish list video, my recommendations video, that they had some lip glosses. So I definitely had to get those. I don't know. I have just been on a lip gloss and lip oil kick for the last couple, I don't know, months. So this is the dark brown shade. I think it's called Le, Le, um, Supreme Brown. That's the shade. Love the packaging, by the way. Uh, fashion fair and then this one is la nude so definitely just a regular nude shade these were non-sticky because it's very important for me not to have any sticky glosses um i replenished on my case skin this is the isle lip balm spf 30 this is just the clear tube this is the brand from winnie harlow she came out with two other shades, I think, or three shades, like a burgundy, like a cherry kind of color. I also have those, but this by far is my favorite. Um, who, yes, your lips need SPF as well. So this has SPF 30, and it's just like the perfect lip, lip, lip balm. Glow for days, hydrating, everything. Um, so I picked up something from Glossier. This is the only Glossier purchase that I've had that I have done since they've been inside Sephora. And this is their lip gloss. And this is in the shade Holographic. And it's just really like an iridescent gloss. I do feel like it is sticky, so I'm not sure how I'm going to be liking that because I don't not like a sticky gloss. Um, but I swatched that, so mm, I'm on the fence about this one. Um, here's the gloss on my hand. I don't even know if you guys are able to really see, but it just has like a nice iridescent look to it. So it'll be pretty as a lip topper. And then Lady Gaga House Labs came out with some lip products. I think it was the last day of the sale. Um, it was a uh, online access, I think, or the day, like the last day of the sale. So I got two of the shades. I picked up Honey Matte and I picked up Mahogany Matte and they're lip crayons. And I just felt like this nude shade was just gorgeous. Um, so this is what the crayon looks like. Just super cute. So you can line and then you can just kind of fill in. So that's the nude shade. I'm going to show you the swatch with both shades next to each other. We're almost done. Okay. I only have three more things left to show you guys. So thanks for hanging out. And then this is the dark shade, which I felt like I could just really use to line. And those are the two shades right there. So I could use one to line and then I could use the lighter shade to kind of fill in. So I picked up a couple fragrances during the event, but those were not available locally. So I had to order them and y'all know how long the shipping is going to take. So those are not here yet. So I will share one of the fragrances with you guys, but I will probably do like a spring haul fragrance haul video, um, with you guys. And I could just share all of the fragrances at that time. Um, Pat McGrath has a mini eyeshadow palette, the sublime smoke eyeshadow palette. I was able to get this. This was sold out in store for a while, but it came back in stock. So I ordered that when I ordered the house lab lippies. And then I ordered the milk, um, pore eclipse matte setting spray. 
I did use the primer and y'all, if you have oily skin, you need this primer. This primer was just having me just whew, dry. Okay. So I'm not a fan of the primer. I don't really need that, but I felt like if that primer was like that, then this setting spray is going to give me life for the summertime when it's extremely hot outside. So I was here for that. I did pick up a lipstick from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Talented and it's just like the packaging. It's a nude color, so I'm super excited for that. It's summertime. We're gonna be bronze, so we need that nice nude lip. Um, and then oh, I picked up the Kaoli Yum Pistachio, Pistachio Gelato. I didn't even know Kaoli was in store now. So when I went into my Sephora, I saw it. I sprayed it on me walked around the store for a little bit and oh my god it smells so good on me so i could not pass i had to pick this up so this is the only thing that i have for my fragrances but i will be you know compiling my spring haul fragrance recommendations so stay tuned for that video coming soon and we have made it to the end guys thanks for hanging out with me what are you most excited about what did you pick up during the haul during the Sephora savings event, please share with me what products you are most excited about grabbing. And I look forward to having a conversation with you in the comment section below. Before we go, you know, stick around, watch a couple videos, hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed, turn on notification bells because you don't want to miss all my uploads. <laughs> and thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh